viewers and subscribers and welcome back again this is bvi channel one i want to do this one very quickly um we have seen the interview of uh, fashola after the exposition about tinibus dual citizenship you know the other time i said i wasn't sure but by the time we went through it and from the, the source it was coming from i can say it could be verifiable although the account of the very young man have been blocked by twitter but that is not the news the news is now on fashola fashola simple question enough the answer we gonna watch um, let me let me see if you can help us out with some information why is the man you you were his chief of staff um of, i mean he has so much of controversy around him uh and I, i'm hoping that you might be able to clear the air there are controversies about his age his true age controversies about his true educational status controversy about his name in fact there are controversies about whether or not he has dual citizenship controversies about his past life in the united states can you clear the air about this man i think that makes it the more interesting and i think those issues have been ventilated sufficiently you know what the nigerian people have decided those issues don't matter that's what they have said by this vote and in making that choice the only thing i can say to you is that every time it got more difficult i used to tell people this was his path to success there was no easy way there's no easy day for him the more difficult he gets then you can be sure it's as sure as and I think that for somebody who has faced all of these obstacles, uh, I, keep, I keep referring to when he was, I remember when, <laughs> when he wanted to be governor. You may or may not recall, for three days after the primaries, we couldn't find the state party chairman, the returning officer mm. for the election. And Lagos was in suspense for three days until they found the but, returning yeah. officer. And that, that, that's... That's the Ashwaju story. But, but is, does he really yeah. have a dual citizenship? That's the Ashwaju story now. And, um, you know, so the more difficult he gets, the more he brings out the best in him. And for me, I think that now that all of these hurdles have been surmounted, maybe there's a divine purpose to it. Maybe perhaps, just perhaps, this is where... Nigeria begins to turn in the most positive way forever. Because sometimes this is just what it takes. Because governance is not about sainthood. It is about efficiency. It is about performance. It is about delivery. So Bola Tinubu is not a saint? I am not. <laughs> I doubt that you are. No, I am not a saint. I mean, so, if you are a saint, you should and, be never by at now. The so, but, day, but, yeah. At the end of the so, day, the at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, for anybody that will be, be Nigeria's president, issues of character, issue of consistency in the person's life, why does he have so much controversy? And have I, is, the third the time I'm asking, does he have a dual citizenship? Character is, character is important. Character is relevant. You know, I tell people, when you read the story, the story about Abraham Lincoln and how he got the bill that ended slavery passed, if you read the process, you will not take the result. Go and read it. So, but it was about doing a good thing at the time. And I'm not saying anything, so nobody should read the windows to what I'm saying. But well, all I'm trying to say is that governance is about getting the results. The process is important. No it matter can be, who the person is. No, no, is. the process can be important. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me put it that way. But sometimes the, the people you impact, and there is a level of integrity beyond which you, you should never compromise anyway. So those are issues that are settled because they are value issues. Societies are built on them. So I should not be misunderstood. But again, you must understand that we must not be looking for saints. So all of the accusations that have been leveled against him have been either unproven or there was no evidence offered in support of them. But they have run along for a while. I know one of them. Which is? So they said that he owned the Oriental Hotel. Does he? 
He doesn't. You know, <laughs> when that story broke, Dele Alake, his, his uh, uh, a commissioner image then. maker then, yeah. went to him and said, look, boss, this story is making the rounds. I should go and deny it. He said, no, they are wishing me well. Don't deny it. I was there. And the story has gained the life. Does he have a stake? He, 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 he no, there the was land. no stake. The place was a swamp. The owners of Oriental Hotel, according to the story, were the people who used to own, I think, Golden Crown on Ikurudu Road, and they wanted to relocate. The whole of that uh, Uzumbamba was a refuge dump, including the place where Jim Movi had built Civic Center. I was in government when they gave it to him. We used to recover dead bodies there. So it was like, build something there so that we can protect it. And that was how, how they came along. So what about is the issue of dual citizenship? This is the fourth time I'm asking. Dual citizenship. I know he carries a Nigerian passport. I don't know about dual citizenship. I know he resided abroad when he went on exile. I don't know if they gave him American citizen there. How, what does that have to do with the results of the election? <laughs> And, and, and wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Time, I... Whilst we are going there, whilst you are going there, I, the last time I checked, I think that Nigeria's constitution allows you to have dual citizens, doesn't it? As a president, you need to recheck the constitution no, in check. respect of, the, of being a president. No, no, it's place of battle. It's place of battle. If you are born, if you are born to Nigerian parents, so I think that, I, I, I will check that, but I doubt that the Nigerian constitution Makes it a, 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 a makes you disentitled if you have dual citizenship because the constitution allows you to have dual citizenship. Let me. I have some. I've not gone into <laughs> the works and housing, and I'm really running out of time. Um, because you are pressing very very tenuous grounds. Uh, but you are dodging away from. Can you imagine? Simple, straightforward question. Tinibu's age, you know, get. Tinibu's real name. You know, no, you can't answer with confidence. Just like me, somebody will say, My name is controversial, that I'm not Asusu Shino Dupitas. And somebody that knows me cannot for sure say, This man is Asusu Shino Dupitas. He has no other name. No. And the same people are the one pushing him. <laughs> Nigeria, eh? <laughs> you don't cast. You see all these men, eh? You see all these men, they, they ask one question. He is completely deceiving himself, making a fool of himself, answering a different thing, completely off track of what he was asked. Simple question. Do, does this guy have dual citizenship? Even as a former governor, even as a sitting or, yes, as a sitting minister, you don't know that as a president, you can have dual citizen in Nigeria. No, you don't know that. A lot of things you don't know. When he be said this election, eh, go open Nanyash. That is just all I want to bring to you. And tell obedient Nigerians, make with a fold on our ass as this drama eh, is getting exciting. We we'll continue exposing these salatans, these never do wells that have been piloting the affairs of Nigerian people to the point of misery. Hmm. Their judgment is very close. Let us just calm down and wait for the outcome of the tribunal. Now that one. Go decide whether this country will continue existing as it is or a complete ballot revolution will explode. I'm just a voice, I'm an advocate for good governance. You see, all these men they are nothing but anti good governance, and that is why they are bent to impose a man of serious, questionable character as your president. Will be tied you if that happens. Just help me share this video. We continue this exposition. We are not giving them any chance and we are not leaving any stone unturned. Help me share this video. Drop a comment. I want to have your opinion on this. And if you have not subscribed, hit on the subscription button and you're welcome to this great community where we they open people's eyes to see that we are all victims of bad governance. Bye bye for now.